And there we have it, a 236.657. Could have gone a little bit quicker here and there, so there was definitely a 36.3 in there. On to the setup. The changes that I make from obviously dry to wet are... For the tyres, um, we increase the, the tyre pressures between 29.5 and 30.5 and then we reduce the cambers of all the wheels by a couple of clicks. Uh, traction control and ABS, we knock it up to 7 and 9, again just with it being so wet and whatnot, we just make sure that we can get good traction and then the ABS is up so that we don't lock our tyres going into corners. Uh, this side of things, the brake pads are at 3 and obviously the wet tyres. I'll put it off explanatory. On the mechanical grip side of things, we soften the front and rear springs by a couple and the anti-roll bars the same. We soften them by a couple as well, again, just to help with traction and just to make it as soft and as compliant as possible, really, as we're going around the corners. Brake bias as well moves, moves backwards, just again, just to help with the, the stability. Dampeners, the only thing that we really change here from the dry is all the bumps go down to zero. Again, it just helps with a little bit of turning because obviously we've softened everything up a little bit, so it just helps with turning a little bit, or I find it does anyway. And finally, the aero, aero, aero um, we increase the front front rider height by a couple of clicks just to help with missing the big puddles especially on the top of a rouge and the um, rear wing goes up to 9 10 again 9 for the spark because it's a big long straight and we close the brake ducts both to one just we don't need any air going through the brakes they're already cold enough of all the rain on them And there we have it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's any tracks that you want me to do next time, let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much and see you next time.